Good evening, enthusiastic patrons of the Panther Performing Arts. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our annual spring concert extravaganza. My name is Braden Willenbrock, and though most of you surely remember me from the eponymous character of our recent production, Pippin, you surely will recognize my face from, the what, from What's Brewing, the fine downtown purveyor of sumptuous espresso beverages and artisanal baked goods, where I can be found putting people first and coffee second. First of all, I'm embarrassed that we're still making this request after all these years. Silence your phones. Next up, please discreetly make any necessary entrances or exits from the auditorium in between musical selections. I repeat, do not make a poorly timed appearance up or down the aisle while music is being performed by these phenomenally talented youths. It's awkward, it's distracting, and perhaps worst of all, it's simply uncultured. Lastly, we would like to thank some specific folk for their su uh, support of the performing arts in bringing events like this to fruition. The Beverly Central Office Administration, Principal Thomas and the BHS Administrative Team, our beloved booster organization, Bumpa, our to and top-notch uh, custodial staff, and most importantly, for the support you, for your support, love, care that you provide for the talented people who are about to take the stage. Your belief in sustaining the power of cre and the creative power in music and the lives these uh, in the lives of these kids plays a major role in why music continues to thrive in our city. And let's not forget the fine folk down at Bevcam who are graciously filming tonight's concert. Shout out to y'all watching live on the YouTube live stream. And now, without further ado, sit back and relax as Trouble Choir takes the stage under, choral, under our choral director's second place finisher in the 22nd Tri-County County Soprano Cage Match Invitational, Olivia Mincello.
first piece of the evening that you just heard is Storm, a piece that we hope brought you into the winding restlessness of a storm approaching. The next piece we will perform tonight, What Happens, is just as intense, if not more. When discussing our repertoire for this semester, one of our members brought this piece to Ms. Mancello. This piece is extremely important to us as an all-female identified treble choir. It breaks down barriers by asking the hard questions. What happens when a woman takes power? What happens when she won't back down? What happens when she sets the beat? What happens when she bows to nobody? What happens when she stands on her own two feet? We encourage you to think of the strong women in your life and the impact they have had on you. Our final song tonight is based off a traditional Appalachian tune. We sing it as a tune that connects us as sisters doing what we love, singing together.
like we've uh, we've been together so many years. These five seniors, I'd like them to stand and take a bow. So could we have you all seniors stand up, please? All five of you.
Hey, lines. Can you kill this one a little bit? Just a little bit.
Racing Bird, Jabberwocky, by Sam Puddle, is based off an excerpt from Lewis Carroll's The Looking Glass, a sequel to Alice in Wonderland. Puddle uses the narrative poetry and its evocative use of nonsense words to emphasize the mock heroic aspects of the poem and is a parody of large traditional words. Did you hear the instruments? Triangle, baby rattle, xylophone, tambourine, drum, toy cymbals, ratchet, and the bird whistle, all instruments would, uh, children would generally play with in their early years. The xylophone we used is older than Miss Minchella. <laughs> all in all, we are proud to say we have escaped the wrath of the Frumius Manusnet and the Jack. Next up, we present to you a piece that we admit is a challenge for us. Empire of Blue by Rob Deeks uses the traditional hymn, The Lone Wild Bird, to explore how small moments like watching a bird in flight can help us understand the bigger truths about our place in this world. Originally composed for the Acapella Academy Choir in summer of 2018, this piece utilizes elements of many musical styles, including folk melodies, overtone singing, jazz harmony, and more. We encourage you, as an audience, to take this musical journey with us, maybe on the wings of the Lone Wild Bird. <laughs>
I Don't Feel No Is Tired, arranged by Stacey V. Gibbs, is an arrangement of a traditional spiritual. In American history, spirituals were sung by enslaved people for many reasons, including to share messages of hope, to communicate ways of freedom, and to cope with their daily unending strife. Spirituals, including this one, often, include, often included themes of Christianity, as enslaved people often found solace in the stories of the Old Testament. I Don't Feel No Ways Tired is an energized message of perseverance and tenacity because we know that something better will come.
Good evening, Bevtown Jazz Cats. My name is Luca Christi Pascarello, and your resident vibraphonist and soon to be graduate of the Panther Palace. I am, as one might say, thoroughly stoked as ponies to introduce this ensemble's first number of the evening, which, in a move that should surprise literally no one, is by revered English alternative rock band Radiohead. Tonight, we are pleased to perform the lead track from the band's 2003 record, Hail to the Thief. This song, which begins and ends in a hypnotic 7-8 time signature that is juxtaposed by a cathartic middle section, will showcase senior alto saxophonist C.C. Tagero and senior guitarist Thomas, St Thomas Stanford Pittman right behind me, as our, fe as our feature soloist. Here now is 2 plus 2 equals 5.
seats seated behind me. Our next tune by the inimitable Duke Ellington is one last play by his band back in 2019. They wowed audiences five years ago with his exotic and slinky alto sax feature. So we figured that since we have a pretty capable lead alto player whose graduation is just 12 days, we should probably take advantage of the opportunity to bring this gorgeous shark back once again. Written as part of his Far East Suite in 1967, <coughs> Ellington wrote this tune to conjure imagery of the central Iranian city for which it is named. During her best take on sax soloist Johnny Hodges' indescribable vibrato, here is Cece Taguero taking the reins on Isfahan.
Hey yo, music department fam. It's me again, Jojo, Joey, Joseph, Richard, Spencer, Esquire, the third senior. I'm here in front of you right now to introduce our final banger of the evening, a tune so iconic and so adored, it has a whole set of chord changes named after the song that has been used in hundreds of other jazz compositions. Originally written by pianist George Gershwin for the 1930 musical Girl Crazy, our arrangement of this 94-year-old masterwork will feature the dual threats of trombonists Oliver Sweatman and Tara McNeil. We hope you enjoy I've Got Rhythm.
he likes. Hey, lights. She was on stage. She's running back. Our first, our first piece tonight, Ila Bilibon, is an arrangement of a magical originally written in 1534. This piece tells the story of two women kibitzing, chatting about how the great their spouses are. When their spouses catch on, they link in them to squawking ch chickens, which is heard represented in the alto line. We link in this story to your modern day group chat. tonight is called Tres Canciones de los Elementos, or Three Songs of the Elements. This piece, we hope, brings you the atmosphere of wind, rain, and fire. The wind breathes peace to the world, while the rain brings life to the earth, and the fire lights. This piece is made up of three short movements, and we ask that you do not applaud until the third movement is complete.
friends. Come on down, friends. <laughs> Our next piece, Glory Glory, is an arrangement of the traditional gospel tunes. Singing this, we send a message of celebration, of leaving our worries behind and enjoying, enjoying times with one another. We invite you to celebrate the good things in life with us, along with our guests, Anthony Fischella on kit, Gabe Rogers on bass, Joey Spencer on guitar, and Ms. PK on keys. Thank you.
Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the uh, concert band portion of, of our annual spring concert. Um, we have a, a really storied tradition in our department of uh, giving students, both current and former students, the opportunity uh, to present their own compositions for uh, different ensembles within the department to, uh, to perform. And uh, tonight we're, we're very fortunate and lucky that uh, one of our recent graduates from the, the class of 2022 reached out to me and asked um, if uh, this group could kind of be uh, the guinea pig for one of his composition projects. Uh, he's studying uh, music composition down at the University of Hartford, Hart School of Music. Um, so before I introduce him, I just want to uh, quickly read his program notes um, about the piece you're about to hear. Uh, this piece was written for Beverly High. It reflects on the childlike nature of learning seriousness and how, in a youthful mindset, anything can, anything can become humorous. I was heavily influenced by my own experiences in high school band while writing this. Musical titans that always had a stoic appearance would crumble in the face of a juvenile mindset as kids would repeat a phrase as more of a punchline than the original intention. This piece begins with a grand statement, which eventually devolves into joy and chaos. By the end, the entire ensemble has become the disarray of the band room, as everyone plays their own cacophony with reckless abandon. So uh, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce, I'm going to have him stand up so he can be recognized. Um, this is called Kill Coin Carousel by our very own Will Kilcoin. One last thing just to set the record straight because Will is an incredibly uh, selfless, humble individual. He did not actually call it Kill Coin Carousel. Uh, the, the students of the band voted on it and decided that would be its final title. Up until a few weeks ago, it was called Title Work in Progress. Um, so we get some alliteration and uh, give uh, Will the, the props he deserves. So here is Kill Coin Carousel, the world premiere.
Hey Ho Panther Nation! Sup? I'm Kelly Woodbury, a senior member of the percussion section, as well as a force to be reckoned with on both the field and ice hockey teams. Our next tune, Andrew Boyson's All the Pretty Little Ponies, is actually the middle movement of his three folk song setting for band. This piece, title, melody, and lyrics all reference the American lullaby some know as Hushabye. Though the true origins of this music are thought to be of African American descent, Boyson's setting is rich, richly yet sensitively scored with exposed solos, chiming percussion timbres, and three parts singing from the entire band. It also retains the gentle and peaceful pacing of the original folk tune, though it comes to an emotionally charged climax at the midway point as the original melody and an undiluting counter melody coalesce into a brilliant and vibrant statement of hope. Featuring the imitable Grace Pelletier on flute, here is the UNH composer Andrew Boyson's All the Little Ponies.
Hey, 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 concert band fanatics. It's me, Cece Teguero, your 2023-2024 band president, senior drum major, lead alto player in the jazz band, and your 2022 Essex County Youth Division air guitar champion. <laughs> Tonight's concert finale is sure to delight all members of our audience. Though it is the oldest piece on program, with origins that date back to the 1870s, it is some of the most infectious earworms you've ever heard. He may not admit to it, but I'm sure that Post Malone is super jealous he doesn't have the same melodic sensibilities as the composer of the March and Procession of Bacchus, Mr. Leo Delibes. Delib's music you will hear tonight is from a much larger body of ideas he wrote for a French ballet that centered on Greek and Roman mythology. The piece draws its many melodic themes from the opening scene of the third and final act of this ballet. Replete with a bold trumpet fanfare, lush clarinet melodies, and bombastic timpani playing, here now is Leo Delib's March and Procession of Bacchus. I probably shouldn't mention this before CC uh, gave that, that fabulous speech, but I just wanted to take a moment and, and recognize uh, our entire senior class. It, it dawned on me earlier today, reflecting back, that these were the kids who, um, who started 10 feet apart their freshman year in this auditorium uh, in the, the thick of COVID, and I, I can't believe four years has passed. Um, and now we're, we're getting ready to, to say goodbye in just uh, 12 days. You're going to hear them once more at graduation um, during the ceremony. But I would like all the members of the class of 2024 to just please rise and be recognized for everything you've done over the last four years. And now the march and procession of Bacchus.
So as our choirs uh, take the stage for one last combined number this evening, um, just wanted to shout out our partnership with Bootstraps, Beverly Bootstraps, who uh, I think many of you know we, we were trying this out for the first time. Hopefully it'll become an annual thing, uh, connecting our spring concert with a, a much needed food drive uh, for one of the most important nonprofits in Beverly. So um, on your way in, if you donated a canned good, uh, you should have received a, uh, a raffle ticket uh, for a, a prize basket, Dunkin' Donuts coffee, some other tasty treats in there. So um, at this time, we were going to draw the winning tickets. Oh, okay. I was looking in the wrong direction. So let's see. Uh, Oliver, you get to pick the ticket. Okay. And the winner is. Two seven two seven two nine four. Two. You said. Two seven two seven two nine four. Going going once. Going twice. I think we have to pick another ticket, right? Two seven two seven three zero two. Is that someone over here? Yeah. Sorry, can, can you wave your hand again so, our, so we can get the basket to you? arrangement of a traditional Irish blessing, a little bit of a goodbye. And as other ensembles did tonight, I just want to acknowledge our seniors in this class, um, so, or in this, uh, these uh, vocal ensembles. So um, if you're a senior, give, give a big wave, like a big one. Raise your hands. You can't cry yet, we have to sing. Um, I'd like to say, one, congratulations to you all. Two, right? Two, uh, from me personally, thank you so much for making my first year so special and so enjoyable. Um, and that you'll be really special to me forever. Uh, the text of this last piece includes a repeated uh, few, few lyrics that say, uh, till we meet again until the sun, uh, may the sunshine warm upon your face. And uh, may you always be the light of grace. So uh, let's say goodbye with a blessing to you all.
arts and thank you so much for all of the, the, the work and the support that you give these kids up here. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful night and please try to stay. Thank you.